team investigation has now led to action on Beacon Hill that will make parking at the nation's first public beach free once again. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Anna Ritis Rodriguez. And I'm Paula Eben. Residents were outraged this summer when parking kiosks were installed along Revere Beach with little notice and with all of the revenue going to the state. Several people reached out to WBZ Chief Investigator Cheryl Fiendaka and her series of I-Team investigations led to DCR backing off that original plan and agreeing to give residents some parking. And Cheryl is back with an update tonight. Cheryl, it looks as though all those meters will come down. That's right. It was a big win for the people and a defeat for the governor and Revere's mayor, both of whom wanted metered parking on Revere Beach. But after several I-Team investigations into the unfairness of the program and community protests, the legislature stepped in and put a stop to it. Oh, I'm so happy. I think it's awesome. That's the reaction from residents after learning the state can no longer charge for parking on Revere Beach. Those meters need to be removed from Revere Beach once and for all. And once again, we'll restore the first public beach in the nation to make it truly a free public beach. DCR, the Department of Conservation and Recreation, owns the roadway along the beach. It put in metered parking during the pandemic with little notice to the community. <laughs> igniting a firestorm of protests this summer. After our I-Team investigations, DCR backed down and agreed to give residents some parking. But the fight and our investigation continued, catching the eye of state representatives who filed legislation stopping DCR from charging for beach parking and preventing the agency from putting metered parking on any other DCR roads without city or town council approval. In the end, we got... we what everyone wanted, power of people. This is our beach. This is open for everybody, regardless of their economic status. The DCR essentially put a charge on the use of the public beach, and the legislature said, no, we're not going to do that. We overrode the governor's veto, and the meters will come down. It's a great win for the people. And I really have to thank you and WBZ for presenting this story and spearheading it. You just didn't let it go, and that was what was important. This is the result. And this shows when the people get behind something, what can happen. The American way of doing things. It's absolutely amazing. <laughs> it really is. This new legislation takes effect immediately, meaning the state can no longer collect any money for parking at the beach. The legislature also passed another law about the money DCR collected this summer. Half of it will now have to be used to maintain and invest in the beach. The governor also tried to veto that bill as well. We reached out to DCR for comment. It tells us it's reviewing the legislation. So Paula? interesting. Cheryl, and the legislation could affect other communities as well? It could because this, this means any DCR our roadway would need the approval of the city or the town council in that town council would have to say that they approve DCR putting meters on those roadways mm -hmm. so that's good for the people it really is Cheryl thank you so much I mean these public spaces belong to the people so it's fair that they have a say it's the democratic process that's right Cheryl thank you have you seen something the I team should look into Send us an email at iteam at cbsboston.com or call us at 617-779-TIPS.